Now, if we go back to the top and click on Media Download, you'll see that we can download the media settings from the Epson server to register the settings to the printer. And again, you'll have to do this for each of the different printers you may have on your network. In the Media Download section, if we go across the top, this is the printer that was selected. Under Region, there's two selections here, a Local and Global. Global are the limited number of medias that are available in all Epson drivers around the world, and Local are medias specific to different regions of the world. Many of the legacy papers and some other specialty medias are only available in North America, and sometimes these medias are available in different parts of the world, but if they're not available for everybody, they're considered local versus global. We're working with Epson Media, and under Media Type, these are the basic categories of paper. Most people want to have all, but if you're doing pre-press proofing, by clicking here, it sorts the list so that you only are looking at the proofing papers, or if you're only looking at the fine art papers. One of the advantages of Epson Media Installer is that if there is a new paper type, or if there's an update to a profile, under Media Download, it will appear, but it will be not registered. This is a new media that is launching in 2021 called Legacy Barita 2. It's currently not registered, meaning it's not in our driver, but it is available. So we click on Legacy Barita 2 and then click Download and Register. And then click OK. This indicates that the download and registration is complete to the printer that has been selected and is now available in the driver and on the front panel on the LCD screen.